All right, guys. Hey, how y'all doing, man? My name is Dave. This is Seeking Gains. Thank you for taking a few moments out of your day to spend it with me. Ah, oh, just some average guy on YouTube having fun. Yeah, having fun. All right, down below you guys can see how the markets have been doing. And actually, it wasn't a bad week, especially for the NASDAQ. We're up 5.5 in the last day, uh, five days. And uh, actually, uh, it was brought up, and I actually brought I actually brought it up last week uh, about eliminating the one day, which I will. I am going to bring in the six month. Uh, you'll see it on the with the Dave sheet when he, he brings it up later. You'll see the six month in there. But it takes time to add that in on every single one of these sheets. So uh, it, it, it'll be a slow go, but eventually you'll see that one day will be gone because it's really not that significant. Uh, you'll see the five day, six month, year date, and so on and so forth. So that way you get a little better gist of how these are all performing, not just these down here below. Uh, real quickly, this is what we do. So those that you uh, that don't know, uh, and I always want to emphasize, you know, I am not a financial advisor. Don't listen to a darn thing I say because <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor. Oh man, hey. If you're ha if you want to have fun though, I mean I, I'm trying to have fun with this channel, you know, uh, gotta it can't be uh, all doom and gloom all the time, right? But that, speaking of doom and gloom, let's take a look at the fear index. Oh, we're at least we're in fear now. We're out of the uh, extreme fear that we were in last week. You can see we were at 24 last week, but now we're at 30. So the that's uh, that's a that's a good sign. We got a market that's moving up a little bit. We got a little less fear. So let's take a look at the crypto one real quick. Oh, that one's still an extreme fear, though. But crypto is just really taking a beating. I don't want to spend a lot of time on that one. Let's take the VIX. The VIX is down to 24.64. I don't remember what it was last week off the top of my head. Does it have it up here? Uh, no, it doesn't. So there you go. So, but there you go. That's the VIX, 24.64. All right. I think there were some votes this week. I think we even have a new one on here, man. So let's take a look at it. Your guys' votes. Uh, and BST is the newest one been added to the chart. Uh, thank you so much for everyone for voting. Uh, and I think Jeppy is slowly starting to catch up to that QILD down there, man. We just need, hey, if you guys haven't voted, or, well, obviously, I take any votes. I really, truly appreciate all votes, even if you've already voted. But if you haven't voted yet, think about throwing some votes down there. And maybe you Jeppy fans will uh, maybe get that Jeppy bury the uh, QILD, huh? Come on, man. We're a two behind. I'm not rooting for it. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, so, but, uh, yeah, man, it'd be nice to see a new leader for a change, man. So we got, uh, anyway, yeah, D BST was the newest one added. I think a couple weeks ago, DJIA was added. So yeah, if there's a, a ETF that's not on this chart that you guys want to, uh, you know, vote for, vote for it and I'll put it on this chart. Woo, catch my breath. All right. So let's just jump right on into the M1 portfolio here and see how we did this week. We're up to $2,878.60. That is a negative gain of $241.33. And we are down 14.1%. Um, but it's actually doing, it's it's done better this week. Uh, obviously, the markets have done better. Um, we got a uh, market gain total loss of uh, 385.87. I think that's what that says. It's really tiny on my screen here. Earning Earned dividends is now $144.54. So let's take a real quick look at the uh, M1 dividends. And that's the breakdown from M1. And you'll see it uh, a better breakdown that I have uh, coming up here shortly for those that are new. Now, those that are here all the time know exactly what I do. Um, let's go ahead and look at Let's go back to the first page and then look down at the bottom here and take a look at uh, who's in the lead. And you guys can see that Jeffy is in the lead this week, pushing Divo down to second place. And I think the other four are pretty much in identical positions they've been in for quite some time. So Jeffy and Divo being the uh, back and forth for that first place slot. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the activity for this account this week. And there wasn't a whole, whole lot of activity. It was my buy, Jeffy paid, which was a, a phenomenal amount. Uh, this week, uh, what it ended up for me it was five dollars and forty-eight cents, and then you can see I made a buy for five dollars and forty-eight cents. So let's take a real quick look at the six buys, so you guys know I'm being honest. You stretch straight across the board, ten dollars each. I, I don't favor any of them. And then let's take a look at that Jeppy buy, so you can see I put that five dollars and forty-eight cents towards Jeppy since it just paid me. So there you go. Keeping it honest, keeping it everything right there for you guys to see so you can see that I'm not favoring any of these in this competition. All right. I do have a favorite. 
but I'm not, uh, not favoring any. So here is my breakdown. And as always, you get your first section there is the weekly deposit of $10, as you saw earlier. And then you can see how much the cost of the share was and how much of a share it bought of itself. Next section is the total shares uh, and my cost basis for those shares. And then you can see my total values. And I am up again, up to $2,878.60, which is $101.10 better uh, than last week, where I was at $2,777.50. Uh, you can see my total returns, and down there at the bottom, that 14.1 is the, again, is the portfolio uh, percentage. There's the breakdown of the total gains. So you got the total gain, and you got the actual breakdown of market gains, and the total dividends that have been earned so far gives me $144.54, like I said before. You can see my price appreciation, which there is the lack of, as I always joke around about. Uh, but I have one day will be back into the green. Uh, and the price for each one of these ETFs at the end of fr Friday's close. So there you go. That is my portfolio. So if you guys want to see it a little bit longer, feel free to pause it, because this is where we jump over to Super Date. Super Dave, where did that come from? <laughs> I know, most of you guys, do you guys even remember Super Dave? Oh man, I used to watch that when I was much, much younger. Anyway, yeah, let's jump over to Dave. It's all yours, Dave. Super Dave. <laughs> oh my gosh, that goes back a ways. I don't know where he got that one from. All right, guys, let's Super Dave. I, I, I got, I'll take that name, though. I'm Super Dave. That's that's pretty good, though, Dave. I'll have to take it, man. All right, that, that's it. Let's just jump right on into it. We are with Super Dave. All right, so take, let's take a look at the charts this week. Uh, we have uh, eliminated the one day, because that's just so insignificant, uh, really, honestly. So we, uh, which somebody had brought up in the comments, and thank you, because I, I totally agree with you that it was, instead of eliminating the dividends, which I had to do this morning anyway, because the charts just weren't working with me this morning. There was no sense in even bringing it in because it was so such a mess. Uh, but we did bring in the six months. So let's just jump right on into it. BSTZ for the last five days has been the best performer and just uh, beat everybody out big time by with a 10.36% uh, positive. Uh, worst performer was SLVO at a negative 4.57%. We we'll go out to uh, the six month, the new, the new category here. Uh, AMZA was the best performer at a negative 2.84%, and uh, BSTZ took uh, went reversed itself, I should say, and now is the worst performer, and we'll straight on out for a little bit there uh, at 36.86% negative. Year to date, again, BSTZ was the worst performer at a negative 44.48%, and year to date, AMZA is the best performer at 4.97% positive. Uh, let's jump out one year. Uh, the best performer now is, and again, it's negative, uh, ZWC as Canadian, uh, negative 2.32% was the best performer. The worst performer, again, was BSTZ with a negative 47.05% one year out. Let's jump three years. The best performer, Divo, at positive 12.48% and the worst performer was USOI at 76.53% uh, in the red. And then lastly, five years out, we have BST at the best performer at a positive 62.05% and the worst performer was AMZA right above it at a negative 71.72%. And all the way there at the end, you can see the 52-week low and 52-week high uh, for each one of these ETFs. And I apologize about not having the dividends on there. It's just not working with me this morning. But let's just take a look, real quick look at the uh, dividend history, I mean the five-day history chart. Um, and, the, and the six that have been, you know, comparing in the comparison, uh, the best performer was Nusi at a 4.69% positive, And the worst performer was Jeppy this week at a negative, I mean, not negative, positive 0.14%. Uh, overall, all of them, which is gonna be kind of, I think uh, the same as the last chart was BSTZ is the best at 10.36% and the worst performer was SLVO 
at 4.57%. So there you go. That is the best and worst performers in the last five days in the history. So if you guys need to see that a little longer, oh, it's, it's, in, it's, in, it's in motion. So uh, I don't know you have to rewind, I guess, and rewatch it though. So there you go. I'll end it there. Let you guys uh, get back over there to Dave and let him finish all this out. It's all yours, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it as always, man. So let's jump right on into my dividend breakdown because I go a lot deeper than M1 does. So here, it'll pop up here, block me out. Okay, now we have all June's payments in. You can see that I was paid $23.13. That's if you follow June straight across all the way to the right, you can see the total, grand total of that month, $23.13. So I'm up, uh, you know, roughly about $3 from last month. And uh, let's go straight on across there. You can see that I got $1.96 from Divo. I got $5.48 from Jeppy. Wow. Uh, Nusi, $2.60. Uh, QYLD, $4.25. Uh, we got RYLD at $4.38. And XYLD paid me $4.46. Now, the second slot is how much of a share that amount bought, okay? And at the very bottom, if you straight down, you can see how much of a share it has accumulated over the past 48 weeks of buying itself. And obviously, you can see the grand total of how much I've been paid by each one of these at the bottom as well. The, the third slot, the purple slot, is the one I like a lot is because that shows you from month to month how much the dividend has changed. And you can see like Divo, it was at 14 cents, went to 13 cents, almost 14 cents. It was a drastic change, but you look at that, uh, Jeppy, 51.64 uh, to 62.10. Nice change. Um, where, you know, Nusi went down from 14.51 to 13.01. QILD, it, it basically remained the same, 17.85 to 17.35. Uh, RYLD uh, also dropped from 21.13 to 2022. And lastly, uh, XYLD also dropped from 44.11 to uh, 42.23. So, and all the way at the bottom in the very corner is the 144.54, which shows how much I have made. You know, we're getting closer to the 52 weeks. So I got four more weeks to figure out exactly what I'm going to do moving forward. Because once I reach that one year mark, um, you know, all bets are off the table as far as these ETFs. I don't know which ones I'm going to keep, which ones I'm going to, you know, uh, just let go and let to see how they perform. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but uh, I have four weeks to figure it out. And uh, I will be bringing in a couple more ETFs. So a couple of these will... I probably won't sell them out. I'll probably just leave them be, let them reinvest their dividend, and we'll just track and see how it performs without adding any more money to it. Uh, long term, I don't know. Maybe one day with, uh, I don't know. I don't even want to speculate because I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. But I got four weeks to figure out exactly what I'm going to do as far as new ETFs. So I'm already starting to really uh, dive in and try to figure out which ETFs I want to bring in and how many. You know, I, I you know, the, I am spread across three of these and I still have my private portfolios and I, I only have so much money <laughs> to work with, guys. I'm not a rich guy, man, by no means. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the leaderboard, see who uh, has been the lead the longest. And then, uh, like I said uh, earlier, uh, Jeppy was in the lead with Divo in second, XYLD, RYLD, QYLD, and Nusi in that order, which has pretty much been the same for quite a few weeks. But uh, you can see that uh, Divo pretty much dominate. But th right there in April, man, Jeppy took over for three weeks. Okay, so now it's been three weeks. Jeppy is in the lead again. Can Jeppy continue to hold it, or is Divo going to come back in and take that slot as the best performer? Uh, I don't know. Only time will tell, man. I just can't wait to see what happens next week. But I'm going to give it a few more seconds there to let that scroll so you guys can see over the course of time who has been the best. I mean, honestly, you just look at it. Uh, Divo has just dominated that first place slot. But, again, it all depends on what you're looking for, man. You know, Are you looking for more growth, better performance, or are you looking for more dividends? I mean, obviously, if you're looking for dividends and you know, less gross, actually, long term, uh, QYLD has actually dropped as far as uh, its uh, uh, value. But... Um, it pays it definitely pays the most so far overall so there you go that is i was just trying to drag it out so you guys have a chance to see it i don't want to go super fast super fast you know like super dave over there super fast 
All right, lastly, man, as always, guys, man, if you enjoyed the video, and I, I do, I truly appreciate every single one of you joining me every week, and then those that are new, I really, I honestly, truly appreciate you guys taking a few minutes to check out the channel, like it or not. Uh, I know not, I'm not gonna be for everybody. Uh, but if you liked the video and uh, you made it this far, think about smashing. I didn't do the fist. Smashing. I don't know. Smashing the like button. It helps out the channel. I hear through the through the grapevine. It helps the channel somehow. No, no, appreciate it, man. If you did, uh, and if also if uh, if you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And I have a little thing down here, and there's some links in below if you guys want to open up an M1. Uh, portfolio or a, of which uh, I don't know what it is right now I think it's ten dollars each or something and uh, Gem and I got for crypto if you guys are interested in crypto so I guess that's where I'll end it let you guys get back to your day eh, I don't have any plans yes I do I'm making more videos <laughs> all right I'm shutting up man I'll just keep on talking I'll see you guys man next week right here don't forget tomorrow morning Sunday mornings I should say the dividend portfolio little comparison and then every sunday night we got the reit comparison my little i like to say my little reit etf uh and uh and see how they're performing so i'll see you guys then see ya the stuff you guys don't ever see <laughs> in the background can't have that fan on blowing into the microphone there i am talking to myself yeah, there's nobody else in the room. It's just me. <laughs> just talking to myself. Here we go. Make everything bigger. It's 4.30 in the morning. Oh, I've been going since 3. It's always, how do you finish the video? <laughs> Here I am talking to myself again. Oh my god. Whoops. I don't like whoopses. Hey, what did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Can't be perfect all the time. All right, I'm, I'm really, I'm leaving. I'm sorry, I gotta go start editing this video. Hey, no, no, I didn't even bring up Popeye, man. Oh my goodness, what am I doing wrong? And I continue to talk to myself. I ain't got no friends.